Introducing Voxter 130 6 update. This is a feature packed update that brings a lot of fun stuff to Voxter. We will start with the long awaited F5 text to speech engine, the best local text to speech solution, now available in Voxter. F5 is a zero shot model, meaning you will be able to use your own voice samples. You will need just 15 seconds of voice in order to recreate it inside F5. Let me tell you a secret. F5 is used for the voiceover of this video. Quite cool, isn't it? Finally, real-time text-to-speech is here and it sounds great. Kokoro, text-to-speech engine is another addition to Voxter 136 update. Kokoro is a very light model giving it great speed. However, it is not a zero-shot model and voices can't be added to it. Also intonation is a bit lacking. That being said it is blazing fast and great for assistant type characters. It's a great addition to Voxter's services. Azure Wake Word. Another great addition is the ability to activate Voxter with a wake word. Just call her name and you will wake her up. You can use Microsoft Azure services to train your own wake word. You can even call her Alexa, if that's your thing. The wake word also has a listening period that you can customize. Voxter can listen for 20 seconds, for example, and then turn herself off. That's cool stuff. This is also a first step towards using Voxter for home automation tasks. Continuations is a really cool feature for roleplay and for making Voxter a little bit more reactive. This feature has two options. The first one is idle continuations, where Voxter can engage the user in conversation after a period of silence. Of course, this is highly customizable, so you can make it perfect for your use case. The second option is called auto continue. This allows you to use a trigger word or a button to make Voxter continue to speak. This is great for storytelling. You can set up any keyword for activating this feature. Once you want Voxter to stop speaking or telling the story, you just interrupt her by voice, typing or the available button. Dialogue suggestions. This is a new feature that allows you to receive chat suggestions from Voxter. Just press on the button situated in the left part of the chat window and ask for suggestions. This is great for those times where you lack inspiration or for one-handed activities. It's a great little feature for roleplay and of course it provides ease of use. Chain of thought. It allows Voxter characters to think before they speak. Please keep in mind that this is not well suited for voice interaction since this will slow down Voxter a bit. However, this is a great feature for text interaction and roleplay. You can use the context window to take a peek inside of your character's mind. It honestly feels like you are a mind reader. ephemeral chats. This will make sure no logs are stored on your computer. As soon as the conversation is closed, everything will be deleted. A great addition for privacy. Background images. It is now possible to add background images to scenarios. This will help set the mood and allow creators to flush out their vision better. Plus, it looks cool. screen sharing for vision. Allows the selection of screen or window that Voxter sees. You can share your entire screen or any window you want, ensuring you control what Voxter sees. Additionally, you can select other screens if you use a multi-monitor setup. We have updated the wizard to make it easier to use. It has never been so easy to get Voxter up and running.
Great improvements to Llama CPP. You are now able to run GGUF models natively in Voxter. Llama CPP has been greatly improved due to correct use of samplers. There are also a lot of changes and improvements under the hood that we will not be covering in this video. If you are interested about these changes and improvements, please read the Voxter release notes for this update. The Voxter team has been working hard to push this update, and we hope you enjoy and have fun using Voxter. See you on Discord.